Hello, I'm here to present you my project on vitamin D and the sun for the healthy and happy project. Today, I'm going to present you the sun first. The sun can actually give you a lot of life-threatening diseases. The most common one that you might have heard of is skin cancer. Skin cancer isn't fun. That's why you need sunscreen. I mean, that's what happens if you stay in the sun for too long. Vitamin D facilities can prevent numbers of diseases. I think vitamin D is good enough. Vitamin D is very good for you, but too much of it can legit kill you. That's why you need to balance out how long you stay inside and stare at a computer screen for two hours, and that balance out how long you're going to be outside with friends or by yourself. Maybe you should take an occasional walk to change it up. Moving on to vitamin D. The good things to vitamin D. Recent studies show that vitamin D can protect people against certain cancers like colon, prostate, and skin cancer. It has been linked to strong bones and they can help the body absorb calcium. It can protect people from bone-related illnesses such as osteoporosis. According to studies, Increasing vitamin D may play a role in improving abnormal. The cons of having a lot of vitamin D. The cons of having high level. The cons of having high levels of vitamin D in blood have been linked to high rates of pancreatic pancreatic cancer. Too much vitamin D can cause nausea, vomiting, poor appetite constipation, weakness, loss of weight, kidney stones, and even kidney failure. You can also get chest pains and a lot of heart attacks and probably irregular heartbeats that you can get. You might get aching or painful bones and, you know, it can be very brittle and it has a severely a stooped pose or well, posture and the bones are more prone to fracture or break. With a lot of vitamin D toxicity, you might be able to have a lot of dehydration with you and you can also get lung damage. If you want to avoid getting too much vitamin D, I recommend not taking steroids, phenobarbital and phenytoin which treats your epilepsy, but can give you a lot of vitamin D. You can also get vitamin D from Orlistat, which is a weight loss medication. You can also get a lot of vitamin D from cholesterol, which reduces cholesterol. If you get too much vitamin D, here's, here are some signs of how you know if you have too much vitamin D. You might get nausea and vomiting, continuous headaches, dry mouth, a loss of appetite and weight loss, constipation, skin that is so slow to return to normal after being pinched, increased thirst and frequency of urination, reduced reflexes, muscles are weak, weakened, and an irregular heartbeat, which we mentioned earlier. So it's very important to take a regular amount of vitamin D a day. Don't take too much, don't take too little. That's the end of my project. Make sure you don't become this guy. Become these people. Uh, the script for vitamin D was greatly helped from a friend. I'll move on to the most useless part. Uh, vitamin D comes from the sun, and too much of the sun gives you skin cancer, so that means that vitamin D gives you skin cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so, vitamin D is basically like calcium. It, it, uh, it, it helps you <laughs> get strong bones. Um, no, no, it's not, it's not calcium. Um, it's good against, uh... Gingivitis, you know, it protects your gums, bro. It makes you, it makes you a big boy. You know, it keeps your muscles. You, you get swole, bro. Okay, I'm um, gonna put this in like the it, end. No, no, vitamin D actually prevents you from going into cardiac arrest. Uh, and it makes you smarter because it boosts brain function. Another thing it does is uh, uh, it, it helps the body absorb calcium, which is why it helps build strong bones. Uh. <laughs> Uh, let me think. Oh yeah, it's it's produced by. Hello. Hello.